March 8, 2014, a date I remember well. It was the launch of this program, my program on, on CNN. Also the day, more importantly, that MH370 disappeared, which marked the start of one of the biggest aviation mysteries of all time. 영어 청취 가랑비 귀뚜라미 영어 오늘의 공부를 시작합니다. The plane carried 239 passengers and crew members. It was set to arrive in Beijing that morning after departing from Kuala Lumpur, but has never been seen since. Coverage of MH370 then took over our airwaves and everybody else's for months after that. And yet, despite launching the largest aviation search in history, virtually nothing was found of the aircraft. Question. How many people were on board on the flight MH370? The plane carried 239 passengers and crew members. It was set to arrive in Beijing that morning after departing from Kuala Lumpur, but has never been seen since. Coverage of MH370 then took over our airwaves and everybody else's for months after that. And yet, despite launching the largest aviation search in history, virtually nothing was found of the aircraft. The plane carried 239 passengers and crew members. It was set to arrive in Beijing that morning after departing from Kuala Lumpur, but has never been seen since. Coverage of MH370 then took over our airwaves and everybody else's for months after that. And yet, despite launching the largest aviation search in history, virtually nothing was found of the aircraft. 그 비행기에는 239명의 승객과 승무원이 탑승했습니다. 그 비행기는 쿠알라룸푸르에서 출발한 뒤 그날 아침 베이징에 도착할 예정이었습니다. 그러나 그 이후로 본 적이 없습니다. MH370을 다루는 뉴스는 그후몇달 동안 CNN과 다른 모든 방송파를 차지했습니다. 하지만 역사상 가장 큰 항공 탐색을 했음에도 불구하고 그 비행기에 속한 것은 사실상 아무것도 발견되지 않았습니다. The plane carried 239 passengers and crew members. It was set to arrive in Beijing that morning after departing from Kuala Lumpur, but has never been seen since. Coverage of MH370 then took over our airwaves and everybody else's for months after that. And yet, despite launching the largest aviation search in history, virtually nothing was found of the aircraft. The plane carried 239 passengers and crew members. It was set to arrive in Beijing that morning after departing from Kuala Lumpur, but has never been seen since. Coverage of MH370 then took over our airwaves and everybody else's for months after that. And yet, despite launching the largest aviation search in history, virtually nothing was found of the aircraft. The plane carried 239 passengers and crew members. It was set to arrive in Beijing that morning after departing from Kuala Lumpur, but has never been seen since. Coverage of MH370 then took over our airwaves and everybody else's for months after that. And yet, despite launching the largest aviation search in history, virtually nothing was found of the aircraft. Passenger, 발음에 의하셔야 되는데요. 철자 2는 에 발음이 아니고 이 발음이 나겠습니다. A person, 사람인데요. Who is traveling in a car, bus, train, plane or ship? 예, 차량이나 버스, 기차, 비행기 또는 배를 타고 여행하는 사람이죠. And who is not driving it? 운전을 하지 않고 or working on it? 거기서 일을 하지 않는 사람이죠. 승객이란 의미가 되겠습니다. 또 다른 의미는 informal, 예, 비공식적인 데서 Disapproving, 약간 부정적으로 사용되죠. Especially British English, 영국 영어에 사용되는데요. A member of a group or team, 어떤 그룹이나 팀의 일원인데 Who does not do, 하지 않습니다. As much work as the others, 다른 사람만큼 기여를 하지 않는 사람. 농땡이란 의미도 되겠습니다. Depart, to leave a place, 어떤 장소를 떠나는 건데요. Especially to start a trip, 어떤 여행을 시작하는 의미로 떠나다, 출발하다는 의미가 되겠고요. 또 다른 의미는 to leave your job, 어떤 자리를 떠나는 이임하다라는 의미도 되겠습니다. Flight for Rome, depart from Terminal 3 하게 되면 3번 터미널에서 출발하는 로마행 비행기가 되겠고요. The departing president 하게 되면 자리를 떠나는 이임하는 대통령이 되겠습니다. Coverage, the reporting of news or sports in the media, 언론에서 다뤄지는 뉴스나 스포츠에 관한 소식, 보도가 되겠습니다. 
또 다른 의미는 the range or quality of information 어떤 정보의 범위나 그것의 정보의 질이 되겠습니다. That is included in a book or course of study on television, etc. 책이나 어떤 과정 또는 텔레비전에 포함되어 있는 정보의 범위, 범주라는 의미가 되겠습니다. Tonight's live coverage of the hockey game 하게 되면 오늘 저녁에 있을 하키 경기의 생방송 중계라는 의미가 되겠고요. The book gives good general coverage of the subject 하면 그 책은 그 주제에 대한 양질의 일반적인 정보를 제공합니다. Airwaves 항상 복수로 쓰이는데요. Radio waves 예, 전파입니다. That are used in broadcasting radio or television. 라디오나 텔레비전 방송을 위해 사용되는 전파, 방송파라는 의미가 되겠습니다. More and more TV and radio stations are crowding the airwaves 하게 되면 더 많은 TV와 라디오 방송으로 방송파가 아주 붐비고 있습니다. Virtually, almost or very nearly, 거의 란 뜻이죠. So that, 그래서, any slight difference is not important. 작은 차이는 무시해도 되는, 중요치 않게 되는, 거의, 사실상, 진배 없는 이라는 의미가 되겠고요. 또 다른 의미는, computing, 컴퓨터에서 쓰인 말이죠. By the use of computer software, 컴퓨터 소프트를 이용해서, that makes something appears to exist, 실제 존재하지 않는데, 존재하는 것처럼 만들어주는, 가상적인 한 의미도 되겠습니다. He virtually admitted he was guilty. 그는 사실상 그가 유죄라고 인정을 했습니다. The plane carried 239 passengers and crew members. 그 비행기에는 239명의 승객과 승무원이 타고 있었습니다. It was set to arrive in Beijing that morning. 그 비행기는 그날 아침 베이징에 도착할 예정이었습니다. After departing from Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur에서 출발한 뒤. But it's never been seen since. 그러나 그 이후로는 그 비행기를 본 적이 없습니다. Coverage of MH370 then took over our airwaves and everybody else's. MH370 항공편을 다른 뉴스가 차지했습니다. CNN과 다른 모든 방송파를 For months after that, 그 일이 있은 후몇달 동안. And yet, despite launching the largest aviation search in history, 하지만 역사상 가장 큰 항공 탐색을 했음에도 불구하고 virtually nothing was found of the aircraft. 사실상 그 항공기와 관련된 것은 아무것도 발견되지 않았습니다. 보시는 문장을 직역을 하면 그 비행기가 주어가 돼서 239명을 싣고 있었습니다가 되는데요. 의역을 할 때는 약간 태를 바꾸어서 239명이 그 비행기에 타고 있었다고 라 이렇게 하시면 좋을 것 같습니다. be set to 동사원형 형태 무엇 무엇을 할 예정이라는 수고가 되겠습니다. 그날 아침 베이징에 그게 우리말의 순서라면 영어의 순서는 in beijing that morning 베이징의 그날 아침 장소 시간의 순서로 나열이 되겠습니다. after departing 분사 구문이 되겠는데요. 접속사를 그대로 살려 두었는데요. 지금 departing의 주체는 주절의 주어인 plane 그 비행기가 되겠습니다. 말레이자의 수도 쿠알라 룸프루 영어식 발음은 쿠알라 룸프가 되겠습니다. 항공업계에서 가장 커다란 탐색 작업 The Largest란 최상급의 표현을 사용했습니다. 아나운서가 4 months after that을 말하기 전에 마치 다른 문장을 시작하듯이 공간을 많이 띄었는데요. 이것으로 인해 약간의 혼선이 있을 수가 있었습니다만 내용상으로는 그 사고가 있은 뒤 여러 달 동안 예, 언론에 이 뉴스가 도배를 했다라는 내용이 되니까 앞쪽에 붙이신 게 맞겠습니다. Nothing was found. 아무것도 발견되지 않았다. 우리말로는 동사를 부정해서 발견되지 않았다라고 하는데 영어는 지금 물을 발견했다. 예, 같은 표현을 좀 다른 방식으로 표현하고 있습니다. Nothing of the aircraft. 예, 비행기와 관련된 비행기에서 나오는 어떤 예, 파편 같은 것조차 발견되지 않았다는 의미가 되겠습니다. The plane carried 239 passengers and crew members. It was set to arrive in Beijing that morning after departing from Kuala Lumpur, but has never been seen since. Coverage of MH370 then took over our airwaves and everybody else's for months after that. And yet, despite launching the largest aviation search in history, virtually nothing was found of the aircraft. The plane carried 239 passengers and crew members. The plane carried 239 passengers and crew members. The plane carried 239 passengers and crew members. It was set to arrive in Beijing that morning.
It was set to arrive in Beijing that morning. It was set to arrive in Beijing that morning after departing from Kuala Lumpur. After departing from Kuala Lumpur. After departing from Kuala Lumpur. It was set to arrive in Beijing that morning after departing from Kuala Lumpur. It was set to arrive in Beijing that morning after departing from Kuala Lumpur. It was set to arrive in Beijing that morning after departing from Kuala Lumpur. But has never been seen since. But has never been seen since. But has never been seen since. Coverage of MH370 then took over. Coverage of MH370 then took over. Coverage of MH370 then took over. For our airwaves and everybody else's. For our airwaves and everybody else's. For our airwaves and everybody else's. For months after that. For months after that. For months after that. Coverage of MH370 then took over our airwaves and everybody else's. For months after that. Coverage of MH370 then took over our airwaves and everybody else's. For months after that. Coverage of MH370 then took over our airwaves and everybody else's. For months after that. And yet, despite launching the largest aviation search in history, and yet, despite launching the largest aviation search in history, and yet, despite launching the largest aviation search in history, virtually nothing was found of the aircraft. Virtually nothing was found of the aircraft. Virtually nothing was found of the aircraft. And yet, despite launching the largest aviation search in history, virtually nothing was found of the aircraft. And yet, despite launching the largest aviation search in history, virtually nothing was found of the aircraft. And yet, despite launching the largest aviation search in history, virtually nothing was found of the aircraft. 오늘의 뉴스는 239명을 태우고 쿠알라룸푸르를 출발 베이징에 도착할 예정이었으나 공중으로 사라진 뒤 대규모 탐색 작업에도 불구하고 여전히 실종된 MH370 항공편에 관한 소식이었습니다. 다시 한번 들으시면서 오늘의 공부를 마무리하시기 바랍니다. The plane carried 239 passengers and crew members. It was set to arrive in Beijing that morning after departing from Kuala Lumpur, but has never been seen since. Coverage of MH370 then took over our airwaves and everybody else's for months after that. And yet, despite launching the largest aviation search in history, virtually nothing was found of the aircraft. The plane carried 239 passengers and crew members. It was set to arrive in Beijing that morning after departing from Kuala Lumpur, but has never been seen since. Coverage of MH370 then took over our airwaves and everybody else's for months after that. And yet, despite launching the largest aviation search in history, virtually nothing was found of the aircraft. Question. How many people were on board on the flight MH370? March 8, 2014, a date I remember well. It was the launch of this program, my program on, on CNN. Also the day, more importantly, that MH370 disappeared, which marked the start of one of the biggest aviation mysteries of all time. The plane carried 239 passengers and crew members. It was set to arrive in Beijing that morning after departing from Kuala Lumpur, but has never been seen since. Coverage of MH370 then took over our airwaves and everybody else's for months after that. And yet, despite launching the largest aviation search in history, virtually nothing was found of the aircraft. March 8, 2014, a date I remember well. It was the launch of this program, my program on, on CNN. Also the day, more importantly, that MH370 disappeared, which marked the start of one of the biggest aviation mysteries of all time. The plane carried 239 passengers and crew members. It was set to arrive in Beijing that morning after departing from Kuala Lumpur, but has never been seen since. Coverage of MH370 then took over our airwaves and everybody else's for months after that. And yet, despite launching the largest aviation search in history, virtually nothing was found of the aircraft. Theories on how a plane could vanish into thin air have gripped the world for almost a decade, but so far, none have been proven. Now Netflix is streaming a brand new three-episode docu-series. It's called MH370, The Plane That Disappeared, investigating the still unsolved mystery. Jeff Wise is an aviation journalist who plays an important role in the Netflix series. He's the author of the book, The Taking of MH370. I invested the three hours in the Netflix show. I'm not sorry that I did. I learned a heck of a lot. But at the end, Jeff, 
We still don't know. We still don't know, Michael, and I think that's the point. You know, um, in the months that followed, the investigators performed this uh, intricate mathematical calculation that told them where the plane went, and they devoted a years-long search uh, to scanning the seabed. Really challenging, amazing feat. The water there is as deep as three miles, and they covered an area the size of Great Britain, and yet the plane was not there. And so this is really, I think, what the um, documentary series is trying to tackle with. How do we reconcile those facts? How can they have performed this really rigorous mathematical analysis and yet fail to find the plane? What could have happened? 오늘보다 더 나은 내일을 위해 노력하시는 자신에게 칭찬을 해주시는 여러분이 되시길 바랍니다. 시청해주셔서 감사합니다.